Good afternoon. I'd like to welcome everybody to the Housing and Municipal Government Committee. We'll start by taking a roll call. Chairman Lombardo. Here. Senator Coleman. Here. Senator Rogers. Senator Rogers. Here. Senator Anderson. Here. Senator Gallo. Not here. Senator Mack. Present. Senator Picard. Senator Picard. You're on mute, Senator Picard. I'm here. Can you hear me now? I can hear you, Senator. Okay. Chairman, we have six present. There is a quorum. Did anybody hear that? Or are we still on mute? Okay. Buttons up. Yep. Technical difficulties to start. Hopefully it'll run a little smoother. We're going to start with Senate Bill Number 51 by Senator De Palmer, an act relating to motor and other vehicles, size, weight, and load limits in Middletown. It's a local bill. Senator De Palmer, the floor is all yours. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, members of the committee. Uh, this bill also has the uh, resolution which I forwarded a, a short time ago by the council. And what this seeks to do is add Turner Road to the list of the roads that we did several years ago was Forest Avenue. And it's the reason we need this at the state level, somebody say, why are we doing this for local roads? We're doing it for local roads so that if a state police officer needs to be able to enforce this, it needs to be a state law. This, that's what this seeks to do. Other than that, the local police do it. We did this before. Uh, it still allows for other transportation of buses and other the only thing changed in the this particular section that adds Turner Road to the mix. Senator Palmer, how close is this to the Forest Avenue that we passed, limiting the weight? Uh, it's road? a. Uh, it's not adjacent to it. It does not intersect it. It's uh, probably it's more in parallel with East Main Road. East Main Road is adjacent to, uh, intersects with uh, Turner Road. I'll say, hang on a second. Intersects with uh, what we did previously as it relates with uh, Forest Avenue. So, thank you, I mean, Senator. That's the best way to describe it. Thank you, Senator DePalmer. Do we have any questions? Yeah, but also, it does not preclude any uh, buses because there's a school on this road. It doesn't preclude. Uh, trucks from going down the road if they have to deliver something here, it just would restrict a through access for the road. Thank you, Senator DePalmer. Do we have any questions? Senator Rogers. Thank you, uh, Chair. I, I just want to be clear. Uh, with this, I am confused, and you're saying that uh, state police can't regulate or stop any vehicles if the town has a uh, uh, no through truck in sign. It has to be done legislatively. It, Correct. They cannot. They can only. State police can only enforce state laws. This is how you. This is how it's. That's the only reason for doing this. Is because of the local police said, if we want to be able to have the state police do this as well, we need this. Otherwise, the local police can do whatever they need to do on local roads. This yeah. is a local road, and we went through this before a couple of years ago. You might remember, uh, with turn uh, with Forest Avenue. Okay. Sorry. Thank you. You're welcome. Any other questions for Senator De Palmer? Senator Palmer, at this time, we'd like to hear some testimony from the trucking companies uh, throughout the agencies throughout the uh, state before we pass this bill. So I would make okay. a motion to hold for further study. Is there a motion out there? Senator Rogers, is there a second? Is there a second? Senator Anderson and Senator Coleman. Clerk. May we have a roll? 
Chairman Lombardo. Yes. <clears throat> Senator Coleman. Senator Coleman. Yes. Sorry, oh, yep. my mute was on. Yes. Senator Rogers. Senator Anderson. Yes. Uh, Senator Mack. Yes. Senator Picard. Senator Picard. Senator Picard. It's not coming through. Senator Picard, you're on. You're on mute. Yes. Thank you. You hear me now? There you go. We got you. Chairman, we have six in the affirmative. Thank you. Help for further study. Next bill. While well, we have Senator Palmer. Senator Palmer. Bill number 175, an act relating to highways abandonment of town roads. Senator Palmer, the floor is all yours. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, members of the committee. Uh, as you're aware of reading the bill, this is, Bill Town is seeking to do the same thing that six other towns have done, six of the towns, Coventry, North Providence, New Shoreham, Barrington, Cranston, Warwick, and any uh, community of uh, not less than 100,000 people. So this is just adding Middletown to the list to do that as well. And without doing this, basically, if this is not in place, if a piece of property is abandoned, if anybody's familiar with uh, Middletown, Aquidneck Avenue, and the recent renovation of the area down there where the uh, uh, first beach intersects, Middletown and, and Newport intersect, there is a Aquidneck Pizza there, there's a liquor store right there, and there's reconfiguration of the roadway. The language as it exists today says when that property is abandoned, it's divided in half to the two property owners. It doesn't make any sense here based on how this is done. So with Middletown, Middletown is seeking to request from the state, like has been granted to Coventry, North Providence, New Shoreham, Barrington, Cranston, and Warwick, and any community, et cetera, of not less than 100,000 people, is the same ability to sell it to one property owner or another. And the local to the resolution for this is well passed by the council. Thank you, Senator De Palmer. Are there any questions? Yes. Senator De Palmer, do we have any specific roads that uh, are mentioned into this bill? No, it's just in general like it is for the rest of the cities and towns. But it's come about because of a specific instance where DOT in the state just reconfigured a road that comes down where Crest Street and Aquinnick Avenue meet in Middletown. There's the, uh, I can't get the name of the liquor store that's right there, but across the street, there used to be a, a cut right in front of it. They basically cut that off to protect traffic. And right now, there's, there are cones there because nothing else can be done until this is finalized. But if they were, the state law allowed them to do that now because it's been abandoned, and they have to divide it equally amongst two property owners, while the other property owner is way over there somewhere. So it, it just doesn't make sense. So Middletown had requested, like has been done in the six other cities and towns, the same opportunity to do the same thing here. So. Thank you, Senator Palmer. I have one other question. This may affect some state property. So we're gonna have Ledge Council take a look at this and make sure everything is uh, in line without, Sounds good. without uh, the town the selling some state property. Up synonymous with the others. Yep. Any other questions for Senator De Palmer? Do I hear a motion to hold? Thank you. Motion to hold. Made by Senator Rogers, seconded by Senator Coleman. Roll, will you take the call, please? Chairman Lombardo. Yes. Senator Coleman. Yes. Senator Rogers. Senator Anderson. Yes. Senator Mack. Yes. Senator Picard. Yes. Chairman, we have six in the affirmative. Bill will be held for further study. Thank you, Senator Palmer. Thank you. Appreciate your time. Thank you very much. So we have a little housekeeping to take care of on the next bill, Senate Bill 239 by Senator Cano. There is a amendment forthcoming on this bill, so not to waste anybody's time tonight to hear this bill and then rehear it again next week. We're gonna wait until we get our hands on that, that amendment, and we will repo repost that next week for next week's meeting. 
Do I hear a motion to hold? So moved. Moved. By Senator Rogers and I believe by Senator Anderson. Do I hear a second? Senator Coleman. Roll, will you take the call, please? Chairman Lombardo. Yes. Senator Coleman. Yes. Senator Rogers. Yes. Senator Anderson. Yes. Senator Mack. Yes. Senator Picard. Yes. Mr. Chairman, we have six in the affirmative. Thank you. Motion is made to here to reposting within the next week or two. Next bill, we have Senate Bill Number 240 by Senator Coyne, an act validating and ratifying the amendments to the Home Rule Charter of the Town of Barrington. I believe there is a town resolution that came with this. Sent. We have uh, Senator Coyne online here. Yes. Yes. Thank Senator. you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Yours. Uh, yes, you should have um, the town resolution in support of this. Uh, this act would ratify and validate the amendments to the Barrington Home Rule Charter, which were approved by the electors of the town of Barrington um, at the polls on November 3rd, 2020. Do we have any questions for Senator Coyne? No questions. Do I hear a motion to pass? So moved. Moved. By Senator Rogers and please raise your hand. Who's also moved it? Senator Coleman. Seconded by Senator Mack. Roll, will you take a call, please? Chairman Lombardo. Yes. Senator Coleman. Yes. Senator Rogers. Yes. Senator Anderson. Yes. Senator Mack. Yes. Senator Picard. Yes. Mr. Chairman, we have six in the affirmative. And moves to the full Senate for approval. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, committee members. Enjoy your night, Sandy. Thank okay. you. Next bill by Senator DeMario, bill number 242, an act relating to taxation, property subject to taxation. Senator DeMario, welcome to the committee. I believe this is your first bill. It is my first bill. Thank you so much, Mr. The floor Chairman. The floor is all yours. Thank you. Um, so there is a resolution from the North Kingstown Town Council that goes along with this. Um, this actually was also submitted uh, last session. However, everything shut down before it was able to be heard. Um, so the property located at 7450 Post Road is um, owned by, um, is occupied by Ocean State uh, Community Wellness, which is owned by the Ocean State Job Lot Charitable Trust. Um, it is a 501c3 um, corporation. Um, and so the situation with this property, um, if I can just speak on it for a minute, is that in 2018, um, this was still occupied by a YMCA, uh, which was going to be shut down um, just because the costs of repair to the building were going to be too high. Uh, this was going to be a big loss to my community. Um, and also it was going to add to the number of abandoned buildings along Post Road. Um, and so the town council at the time sought different um, potential occupants and and uh, Ocean State Job Lot in the form of their charitable trust stepped up um, and invested in this property, um, not only so that it would be occupied, but also so that there would still be a community center and an opportunity for um, local residents to have a place to exercise and have community-based classes and things like that. Um, and I'm uh, happy to answer any other questions. Any questions for Senator DeMario? No questions? Senator Mario, well done. I, do I hear a motion to pass? Motion to pass. By Senator, Senator Rogers. Rogers. Is there a second? Second by Senator Coleman and Senator Mack. Roll, will you take a call, please? Chairman Lombardo. Yes. Senator Coleman. Yes. Senator Rogers. Yes. Senator Anderson. Yes. Senator Mack. Yes. Senator Picard. Yes. Mr. Chairman, we have six in the affirmative, zero in the negative. Thank you very much. Senator, that was painless. Uh, I congratulate you. It goes to the Senate floor for uh, approval. Thank you very much for Thank your time. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, committee. I appreciate your time. Do we have Senator Dela Cruz? 
Senator De La Cruz here? No. Well, the next bill is by Senator De La Cruz. It's bill number 390, an act relating to the Oakland Mapleville Number no. 4 Fire Department. It does come with a resolution. It also passed in the November election by the, the, the local town. Uh, do we have any questions regarding this matter? It is a town matter. It has been approved by the voters, and that does come with a uh, resolution. Do I hear a motion for passage? By Senator Rogers. Do I hear a second? By Senator Mack and Senator Coleman and Senator Rogers. Uh, excuse me, Picard. Ro, will you take a call, please? Chairman Lombardo. Yes. Senator Coleman. Yes. Senator Rogers. Yes. Senator Anderson. Yes. Senator Mack. Yes. And Senator Picard. Yes. Mr. Chairman, we have six in the affirmative, zero in the negative. It moves to the full Senate for a vote. The final bill is House Bill number 5181. This is the identical bill by Minority Leader Algier, which we passed in this committee and it passed on the floor. Any questions? Do I hear a motion for passage? By Pass. Senator Coleman and Senator Rogers, is there a second? By Senator Mack. And Senator Anderson, roll. Will you take a call? Chairman Lombardo. Yes. Senator Coleman. Yes. Senator Rogers. Yes. Senator Anderson. Yes. Senator Mack. Yes. Senator Picard. Yes. Mr. Chairman, we have six in the affirmative, zero in the negative. Moves to the full Senate for passage. I want to thank everyone. And that was a very brief meeting of 20 minutes. <laughs> Hopefully the next meeting we'll uh, have a little bit more uh, um, beef to, to tackle, especially the, the one coming up by Senator Cano with the tax exemption for the railroad system in Central Falls and Pawtucket. Thank you very much. I appreciate your attention, and I look forward to seeing you next week. Have a great night.